Hey guys, Siju here. Welcome back to Tower Defense X. Alright, so as you can see in this lobby, the new Christmas event has finally come out. See, we have the presents here. We have, you know, all the Merry Christmas stuff. Well, you know, Christmas decorations everywhere. And as we walk around here, you know, the snowmans are here. Um, bunch of snow, candy canes, you name it. And... I think there's a few new maps like Fort Summit. You know, I heard that's a new map and all that stuff like that. And honestly, I think uh, this has been in the works for quite a while. And I'm actually glad that it came out. If you look in the shop over here, we can see that we also got some new skins. Merry Christmas. A bono of six exclusive skins. You can also win these in a Christmas event, which is what we'll be doing. Because I don't want to pay 300 Robux. And also, there's our new tower. Cryo Ranger. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to beat this new boss in a Christmas event. I know that we can get the stuff over here. Like I float in there, probably lost connection. But, these are the helicopters which they recently just added in this event. And it looks like we're going to have to go ahead and team up in the Santa Stronghold. You know, now there's easy. Are these all easy? I wonder if this is a different difficulty here. Yeah, easy. So they're all have the difficulty of easy. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this helicopter with all these guys. And we're going to go ahead and jump in. All right. And we're in. Looks like we have all the people here. This is the new Christmas map. And honestly, this looks pretty good. It even goes all the way over here. The water and everything like that. Jeez. They did a really good job with this map, I have to say. But, let's go ahead and begin. I think that this Christmas event is staying until at least January uh, 20th. So we have a lot of time to get all of these skins, all of these, uh, the, all the new towers and all the other stuff. Right now I'm going to put down a laser gun. These are like the new zombies, I think, for the event. There's like a bunch of carrots and everything like that. There we go. We got our laser gun that's going to work. I think this is just like easy mode. It's just going to be 25 waves or something like that. I really don't know. But hopefully these laser gunners can take these guys out. And who am I kidding? Of course they're going to take them out. They're at 4 damage though. So we might need to upgrade them within the near future. Right now we're just going to go ahead and... uh. Yeah, right now we're just going to go ahead and just upgrade as much as we can. As you're going to should go to work here. But I do really enjoy these maps. It's like these guys got the snow tower, the barracks. You know, we got the ice. We got the water. We got the candy canes. We got the ambience in the background. Everything here is all right. And we have the tank over here. You know, it's, it's definitely like a... Christmas sort of themed. You even had this little house over here. Or this little cabin, whatever you call it. And to go to the town. Like the little uh tower with the buildings and all that stuff. It's actually really nice. Very clo uh cozy as well. But let's go ahead and get that wave over with. Oh look at this. I didn't even see this. But we also got the statue of the zombie here too. Alright, these zombies are getting a little faster now. We're going to put a bit more damage on here now. As like, the waves progress. I didn't even notice, but these uh, snowmans have glowing eyes. So I think that's really cool. Now a lot of these snowmans around here even have the glowing eyes. So that's a unique feature. Maybe it's because the zombies are coming out of this cave or something. I don't know. But laser gunners are going to work. You know, I might go ahead and uh, uh, decrease the loading time over here. And this will make it a lot faster, especially when you have a whole bunch of clumps of zombies like these. Snow Runner, Frozen Zombies. Yeah. We're definitely going to need a mini gunner in this stage for sure. But I think uh, our laser gunner should take this out. I think, uh, yeah, the range should cover up all of that yeah we're good 
I just know that these zombies are strong in the easy mode. I would feel like this is like an intermediate type difficulty, but I could be wrong. Jeez, look at all these snow runners, man. They're just coming in. They're just coming in with like clumps. That shouldn't be too much of a problem though, right? Uh oh. Well, I think we're gonna definitely need to increase the uh, damage that the laser gunners do. Sure. But I think we're gonna be okay here. Got the DJ going. Let's go. You always know, we always gotta have that DJ on the board for sure. But I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade these guys. And then we're gonna go ahead and start placing down more towers because these zombies are definitely gonna start to get past these laser gunners. There's no doubt about that. But I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and place down a laser gunner. Maybe a rail gunner when we have enough monies. And eventually we'll put down those juggernauts. Oh, look at this. We got the gingerbreads now. I was wondering when these guys were gonna come out. Oh, here they come. Gingerbread mans. We got uh, the Xmas wall. Man, they actually are walking walls. What the heck? And they have like marshmallow heads and all that stuff like that too. But I'm thinking I'm gonna put down the rail gunner here. I think uh, that's gonna definitely come in clutch with these uh, heavy zombies. But hopefully we get the enough monies in the next round here. Let's find out. Okay, almost. The heck is that? A chimney? The heck, this is a bunch of walking buildings. What the heck is this, man? Okay. Let's go ahead and put down our rail gunner right here. Boom. I thought I saw something running past here, but that, that could have been me. Got the rail gunner right there. And then I guess we gotta upgrade our stuff. Put down more laser gunners. But here comes more chimneys. A whole bunch of other stuff. Crazy, man. Looks like our teammates put down an artillery tower as well as the uh, EDJ over here, which is pretty chill. But yeah, these zombies are definitely becoming stronger, man. We got a bunch of gift boxes and all of a sudden it spawns in a whole bunch of zombies. But dang. And we also got coal, we got stealth trees and everything like that. You know, it's getting crazy over here, man. But I think we should be able to handle this. Oh my gosh, it's just... There's a lot going on on the map, what the heck? I don't even know if our laser gunners can handle all of this. There they go. Come on, man. Oh, gosh. Everything's just getting taken out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we definitely should have placed, like, a juggernaut or something earlier. Uh-oh. Hopefully these guys can hold it off. There's just so many things, man. It's so... Oh, no. I think that's it. I think that's it, yeah. GG. Okay, here we go again. I think, um, one of our teammates is AFK. The other one just placed down an operator. This might be the new power skin which came out at the Christmas event. Not too sure. But, oh yeah, they also got the snowman. I don't know if this guy actually beat the Christmas event yet, or he just bought it with his uh, Robux. I think that he beat it once before. That's what I like to think. But this is going to be a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, it's more like intermediate mode. But apparently for this event, it's easy. So I wonder how hard, um, you know, it will be if this is put on elite or whatever. Yeah, here's a better showcase of the Winter Towers. But here you go. You have the Santa, right? Santa Claus with his uh his Christmas weapon and he got this guy as well with I think the other skin but here you are with these guys and honestly they look pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie. Um I I can't wait to actually have this one though. The operator with the Santa Claus is my favorite one. I think this one's cool, but not as cool as Santa Claus. Looks like our teammate finally woke up. I think he's gonna put down barracks or something like that. Uh, he should probably have a lot of cash. 
just because he went AFK for his first few rounds, but I'm thinking of putting SMG on this guy right here. Decrease the oh it's actually gonna decrease the range here. Maybe I could put a laser BR. I don't really know. I'm gonna put SMG just because it's gonna get crazy within the near a little bit. I think um it'll buy me time to get juggernaut and eventually we should be good. Right now we're on wave eight. We're doing alright. I wanna see if I can get past the wave that we were originally on in the first round. So let's see. Okay, I think our teammate went AFK once again, but we should be okay. I'm about to place down the Juggernaut, which I think was a mistake which I made in the first wave. Yeah, there, Juggernaut is doing a lot of damage right now. Our teammate got down an EDJ. Um, yeah, this is definitely a play that I should have done in the first part, but I didn't for some reason. But don't worry, we got the Juggernaut now. We're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna do damage with this guy. My only problem is that it doesn't have the stealth, but our laser gunner should handle that. I think we're definitely we definitely are gonna need to get the stealth on the juggernaut ASAP because of these stealth zombies over here. As you see, they're just really fast. And I don't want too many of those guys getting past. But Juggernaut's definitely gonna uh, tank all the chimneys all the coals and all that stuff you know it's definitely not gonna get by the coals do have a unique thing where they get faster like the more damage they uh take and all that stuff i think that's a unique uh feature they have here i might save up for the stealth uh, ability for the juggernaut just because of those uh christmas trees and everything like that but pretty soon we should have that and I think we're going to be okay for the time being. Our teammate is awake once again with more barracks, thankfully. So I think I'm going to go ahead, get the stealth mode, place out more juggernauts, and then we should be okay. I think right now we're doing a lot better than we initially were in like the first, um, the first game. But man, I can't even concentrate on my words right now. I mean, there's so much going on, like the music and everything like that. Yeah, the toys were also a huge problem and i think juggernaut goes ahead and just tanks them which is really nice all right well it's got stuff as well i don't really see anything gonna pass these guys for a while thankfully i'm gonna place that another juggernaut probably over here where it has more range let's actually do that right now if we can come on how much range does this have? Okay, we should be okay. But we're gonna place down another one. Just be extra cautious. Boom. Two juggernauts. And I think we'll put the top row for this one. Yeah. I think that's our next plan there. Alright, we should be good. Uh oh. Here comes the more tanky guys. That definitely upgrade that, uh, my juggernaut there. But yeah, we got the um, big boss men over here, man. And then we got all oh, these guys trying to sneak by. Like, what the heck? Uh-oh. They actually did sneak by the Juggernaut a little bit. Just the amount of zombies that there are are just insane. But we should be okay here. Might just put this on the strongest. There we go. And Juggernaut should take those guys out there. Okay, come on. Get by the present quick. There we go. All right, we should be good. Yep. Okay. And then uh, we'll go first for that guy there. Put down another juggernaut over here. And this time it'll go at the uh, the bottom path as well. We got Windigos coming in. Oh gosh, we got two of these guys now. Okay, interesting. I might place down a uh, rail gunner pretty soon as well. It's because uh, the amount of guys coming in. Okay, we might have to do the fourth upgrade at the bottom path as well, because of how crazy it's getting. There we go. How much does that do anyways? Oh, it increased the damage. Yeah, okay, we're definitely going to need to grab that for both of these guys. But I think right now we should be okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to be okay. 
Yep. Alright. We should be able to tank him. There we go. We got John. We got everybody around here right now. We should be good. I love this tower skin for the Juggernaut here. I think that looks really cool. It does so much damage and everything, which is what I really like. We got a whole bunch of rail gunners over here as well. Might just put these guys to the max over here. And yeah, right now I think we're doing all right. Oh, what the heck? We got an operator down here. Oh, that's not even mine, so we won't even worry about that. I think we're gonna go ahead and um maybe do the max upgrade for the rail gunner here first. Just because once it's maxed, it does 6,000 damage at the end, which is really insane. But, yeah, we're doing alright. Looks like we got the Guardian coming in. Uh-oh. We're gonna be okay, though. Oh, we got three of these guys. Oh, what the heck? Hold up. This is the boss right here? If that's the case, I gotta start put down these rangers as sacrifices here. Uh-oh. This is it right here. This is the... Oh my gosh. This is the one thing everyone was waiting for. Oh my gosh, the rail gunner. It's almost down. Boom, there we go. Put max upgrade on that. Alright, there we go. I think somebody said to hold shift when I'm placing these guys down. But I think I'm messing that up so bad. Uh oh. Okay. I'm gonna place another rail gunner over here. There we go. Boom, we should be alright. I'll deal a whole bunch of damage here. Come on, Rangers. Take him. Your sacrifice will be remembered. Well, rail gunners are. Oh my gosh, there's just so much going on. Oh, geez. Oh my gosh, it's cooking up everything. Right now, the Santa's getting destroyed from his uh, face if you take another look over here. Yeah, look at this guy. It's slowly revealing what's underneath. This railgunner's got like huge range as well, which is what I really like as well. All right, come on. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. Okay, that's it for all the range with the railgunners here. Gonna have to definitely um sell my trips here. Backspace. Yeah. Oh, why did I sell that? Oh well. Okay, might as well put this up top. There we go. Put this also at the top here. Do that. Rail gunner. There we go. Okay, we should be good. GG. There he goes. Let's go, victorious. We got a new tower here, Crow Ranger, and we got a skin reward here. Okay, so that was Exo Santa. And I don't think you can unlock all those skins at once. You might have to play them over and over and over. Because if you look at the shop here, yeah, we don't have all of them. But I'm going to play that a lot more just to get all these skins. I think once the event ends, you can no longer get them ever again. So it's important that you guys them as soon as possible but yeah head over to the christmas event to these helicopters and you can do that for sure thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out